Hey guys, Zephyrnix here. This one's going to be a live rant. You know what a live rant is, right? Like I used to do. Um, basically, it's a rant that I do off the top of my head. No cuts, no nothing like that. Just straight talking. Uh, so what are we going to talk about today? Basically, um, the Wii is a kitty toy. Do you really believe that nonsense? Like, really? Like, I was listening to Pyro 2000X, and I ran into General MLD's video about that, and both of you were retarded when that comes up to play. I mean, really. I mean, I don't mean you're really retarded, but I mean, you know, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. Let me, let me hit you up with something. Okay, so, if the Wii is a kiddie toy, and it's supposed to be below the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3, then why do we have to move and connect? How do we come across Move and Connect? We got it because they looked at Nintendo and saw how Nintendo was doing, and they think they saw how why Nintendo was doing so well, and they emulated it. They found a way to not emulate per se, well, in case of Connect anyway, not emulate per se, but they went ahead and discovered a way to bring the casuals to their system. Why? Because they saw Nintendo doing it. So how is it a kitty toy when they're sitting there? They're when they're sitting there making they're making the money, dude. They're they're they're, they're printing money, bitch. They're printing money basically, and a lot of you guys are sitting there calling it a kitty toy. Let's 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 even let's not even look at that. That's 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 the business part of it. Let's go ahead and look at the actual games, dude. Let me let me be real with you. I'm being dead honest with you. I've had an easier time playing other games such as, let me see, Little Big Planet, um, and shoot, uh, Armada of um, our um, Xbox Live games, actually Xbox games, are a lot easier. Okay, they are easier. What else was that? Um, Gear, uh, God of War? All these games were easier. Way easier than new Super Mario Brothers. Seriously. Seriously. I've had. Um, I sat there and just breezed through like levels upon levels upon levels upon levels of uh, God of War and um, um, not Gears of War, uh, Halo 3, you know, things like that. And I sat there and breezed through them, right? And then I'll turn on New Super Mario Brothers and I'll be just like, whoa, I was surprised I got through that. It took like literally every single ounce of concentration just to get through that. And yet, you guys are sitting there calling it a kitty toy? Really? Now, I'm not saying Snoo Super Mario Brothers is a, is a total easy game, but I, I mean, a lot of people are going to sit there and talk about it who haven't really played it, who haven't experienced it. And let me tell you something. Um, is it easy to play? No, it's not. There are a lot of games, especially the last boss in Super, the new Super Mario Brothers world. Okay, seriously. Thus, it's the only, well, I'm not sure if it's new Super Mario Bros. world is, is actually a franchise game, but... Um, I do know that for a fact that uh, New Super Mario Bros. World is one of those, um, one of the very few Nintendo games that I actually picked up that I haven't beat yet. Why? Because that last boss is a beast. Now, I'm not saying the game is hard. No. I sat down in one sitting and actually uh, got into the final boss. Well, it took me less than, 20, or less than 12 hours to get to the final boss. I'll say it like that. That being said, if I actually had an attention span or if the games were, um, on par or better than New Super Mario Bros. World, I probably was New Super Mario Bros. Whatever, I would have actually sat down and played um, Halo or um, God of War in one sitting too. But honestly, none of those games really stack up. They really, they don't. They don't stack up to um, New Super Mario Bros. And we can continue to go. Uh, Legend of Zelda. I call Fable 3 the Legend of Zelda for the Xbox 360. I am not talking about gameplay. I am talking about it's a you know sword and sorcery game um, and exclusive for that console. I am not saying hey, this game is just as good. Oh God, no! Why would I say that nonsense? And the list goes on on classical franchises. I mean, the Wii is not. The Wii is not a kitty toy. It's far from it. It has been set in stone as a classic already. Already, mind you, it, uh, from the go, the Wii already set the standard for what gaming is this generation. And you got the nerve to call it uh, a non-generation. I've seen that a lot of PlayStation 3 users. Um, is a last generation um, console. Now, of course, you're seeing that because of graphics, which proves your stupidity. Because graphics have nothing to do with what is this gen and what is not gen and what is not this gen? It has nothing to do with graphics. It's nothing but a mere timeline. It's nothing but a mere timeline in terms of what is this generation, what is last generation. I 
I mean, if you really want to go ahead and talk on that level, let's think about the PlayStation um, PlayStation 2 for um, for a good example. The Xbox um, the Xbox and the GameCube both have better graphics than the PlayStation 2. So therefore, does that make the PlayStation 2 um, last gen, or does that make um, the Xbox 360 um, a gen a gen above the PlayStation 2 and the Dreamcast? The answer is no. The answer is no, it doesn't. Why is it all the same generation? Because of a timeline. It has nothing to do with graphics, especially since um, it was the weakest system of that generation. Let's continue on. I mean, there, is, there really isn't too much to say. My thing is this. If you actually believe that the Wii is a kiddie toy and that you quote-unquote grew up, that you grew up from the Wii or you grew up from Nintendo, then you've got a lot more growing up to do. Because no, my, not by no means... By no means can you really grow up from Nintendo. You may get a different taste for games. That's possible. But if a, if an adult sits down and watches The Incredibles, the movie The Incredibles, does that make him a child? No. It makes him a person who likes The Incredibles. I happen to love The Incredibles, you know. But guess what? I pay my own bills, you know. I do. I, I pay my own bills, my own cell phone bill, you know put gas in the car, I go to work every day, I go to work every day, okay? So if I go to work every day, making sure my bills are paid and the people in my house are fed, you know, but I play Nintendo, does that make me a child? The answer is no. You know, like I said before, it's what you do in life that really makes you an adult. And playing Nintendo, playing the Wii, hell, playing, you know, all that does not as far from make you a kid. I got a question for you. If I go ahead and jump on my emulator right now, right, and I go ahead and play Super Nintendo or a regular Nintendo, does that still make me a child? Black Bond has his own um, place now, right? So if he decides out of nowhere, you know what, I'm going to play the Sega Genesis for a minute. You know, I miss those games. Does that make him a child? And then, are you referring to graphics on there? So does that mean that if you're playing PlayStation Network games and you're playing Xbox Live Arcade games, does that make you a child? Because those games are, are pretty subpar. And then, make it worse, speaking of which, uh, Pyro and MLG stated how they, you know, they grew up from Nintendo. But yet, uh, they actually um, end up playing, was it, Little Big Planet and... Um, Viva Pinata, respectively. So, if you grew up from Nintendo and you're still playing Little Big Planet, how does that make you grown up? Little Big Planet is almost actually Little Big Planet is a hell of a lot easier to play gameplay wise, you know, than than um, New Super Mario Bros. is. And to be honest with you, let's continue on. Even with that, excuse me, even with that, if you go on to the next level, right, and talk about how you know. Well, if you can create stages with it, uh, you can't do that on New Super Nintendo. No, you can't. But you know what? Anyone can create a stage. It does not take too much mentality to put together a game. And it really isn't. You know? It really doesn't. How do I know? I've done it many, many times. And guess what? I've done it with a real game engine. I did not sit there and play, um, you know, use the tools, you know, use the easy tools, and they're really easy to use, of a little big client. No, I sat there and I used a real game engine to create a um, to create a stage, and it's true. So the reality of it is, is that when thought about it, and be perfectly honest with you, the stage that I created was both a Sonic stage and a um, and a um, Mario Brothers stage, Mario Brothers Three, to be more precise. It was a um, it was a custom game. But anyway, the fact of the matter is this. Little Big Planet is more kitty than um, New Super Mario Brothers. And speaking of which, what makes it kitty? The graphics? Just because it has colorful graphics makes it kitty? Well, that brings us to Viva Pinata because Viva Pinata has one of the most colorful graphics you know I've ever seen, and it's, it's like yay all over the place. And it's like really, you know? Now don't get it twisted. I'm not saying that Viva Pinata is a bad game. No, I played it. I don't I don't want to say too much enjoyed it. I mean, I played as much as I possibly could, but I tell you what, um, I bought the game for the um, PC and it came with an Xbox Live Gold membership for one month, and it was five dollars. So basically, what happened was is I got 
um, a gold membership for a discount, and I also got the um, a game for free. That's basically how I look at it. But then, like real, like really, guys. I mean, I can like I can keep going on with prime examples, but to be honest with you, as I said before, it, it, it just needs to end like that. If you really think that the Wii is a kitty toy, or you think that you grew up from the Wii, then you got a lot more growing up to do. Okay, you're still a child up there. I just wanted to say that real quick. You guys have a good night.